you don't. All I'm asking, a little respect and just a little bit. Come on, Corbin. Just a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Just a little bit. Uh -uh. Just a little bit. Oh, baby. Welcome back to our stupid reaction, G idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Aretha Franklin. No, you're not. How dare you disrespect her? And please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Juicy content. And thank you for us on Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter account. It's so juicy. Uh, today we're reacting to a, a Zakir Hussain video. Oh. Uh... And it's also with. Uh, say this name for me, please. Patri Satish Kumar. I believe he's another percussionist. It looks like he's playing some. Others. So, yeah, well, I think we've seen that in a, in a couple of Tashar's Tashar's um, videos. Things. Yeah, there's there's what there's four people that are in the thumbnail. I see. I think it's just. There. I think it's just uh, the those two. I believe. I think oh, they're doing kind of like a, a, almost a duel. It's only three minutes. So sadly, oh, it's a, it's a little bummer. Um, but uh, you know, we love Sukir, and we want to keep watching more of his stuff because. Good. We're just finding out about him. You've known him your entire life. Right. Uh, <laughs> but we knew the moment we saw him, this guy is music, and we've discovered unsurprisingly. And it looks uh, like this is in 2007. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's been... He's been... Around since 2007? Probably longer. He's... He's been around... Like... He's, if I'm not mistaken, he started playing with Ravi Shankar. Yeah, he played with Ravi Shankar. When he was 19. Mm -hmm. He was at Woodstock with Ravi Shankar. I've seen, uh, there's actually a video of it, but it's not good quality video since it's so old. Yeah. There is video of him playing with Ravi Shankar in a concert, though. Yeah. That's yeah, he was with him a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy, because, you know, Ravi Shankar. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like that's what I told you what Pedro said. Yeah. Yeah. So. Here we go. <clears throat> because that was short. <laughs> Not because of anything in the video. Yeah. I'm upset. I'm upset. That could have literally gone on for 30 minutes. 
And I... See... Every single time, like... Like, there's been musicians that we've watched that, like, it's like, it's, it's very impressive. And there's, you know, we can tell that they're legends. But then this man is on, like, a different level, in my opinion. Because, yeah. because, yeah, like, yes. it's like what we, we've talked about, like, watching a Stevie Ray Vaughan or somebody at the, ma like, the height of their, uh, like, right. the, the, the master, the instrument. Right. Uh, that the, the most impressive thing about him, besides himself, uh, is that he, do he doesn't look like he's thinking the, in the slightest. The mind, body, soul connection is like he's just. He's like I, I, I'd rather not think because it would mess up what I'm doing with my he's hands. Not. <laughs> he can go. Which is impressive. He can go from intuition to application without thought. Yeah. He can go from musical intuition to the application without thought. His musical intuitions become what he plays just because he had the intuition. And of all, I am, this isn't hyperbolic, I'm not exaggerating, it is without question. I have never witnessed or heard a master of any instrument more mind-blowing than Sakir Hussain. There has never been, there's no Stevie Ray Vaughan solo, there's no Jimi Hendrix solo, there's no Eddie Van Halen solo, or go down the list of other 60 greatest guitarists of all time. There's no classical pianist. There's no anybody who I, and I've been blown away by people. I have never seen anybody master an instrument or play it at the level that that man plays this. I don't even know. There's quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenths, thirty seconds, sixty fourths, and you can keep doubling. I don't know what he just played. It was. It what does that mean? So if you have a Rick quarter is note, a musician, I'm not. If you have a quarter note, let's for basic simplicity of music, let's say there's four beats per measure mm -hmm. as you're looking at music, right? So that would be written as four four. It means that there's four beats per measure. Gotcha. And the quarter note, which is a on when you're looking at music, the quarter note has the little thing with the flag. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. And so if it went one, two, three, four, you'd see four of those. Gotcha. Right? Okay. And so the time signature says four four. It means the quarter note gets the beat. Well, if in, say, 4-4, four, four, you wanted to play something and the rhythm was this, and you were playing, gotcha. you're doubling the 4. Okay. So that would be gotcha. the 8. Gotcha. So then if you doubled that, it would be 1, 2, 3, I can't, I'll do it this way, 4, there's the 8, and the 16th would go, 32s would go. 64, I can't do. It would triple that. I think he's doing 64s. Wow. Yeah, I heard what I think were 64s of... I don't know if that's what it would be in Indian terminology. Is music universal in terms of the writing of it, or no? Yeah, in, in terms of, oh, no, 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 no. No, like in terms of like how they write it, the, the notes and everything. Yeah, that's a great question. I have no because idea. Because I, I thought, you know, now, now we've learned ALS. I thought that was universal. Right. As we've learned, it is not. I only know Western music and Western modalities. Gotcha. So I, I don't, I would assume please. for the sake of like he does. Because he can play with everybody. American musicians. Well, yeah, right? he does world music mm -hmm. in, in addition to Hindustani and, and he can probably do anything. But yes, he plays with the best of the best, and uh, per the, I should I could ask that of Pedro because Pedro would know. It's my understanding that the Western musical t time signatures is what everybody would use. Um, I, d I don't know about percussion. I, I don't know how much of what they have is that wasn't written out. That no, was, they were just no, talking no, no, to no, 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 That was pure yeah. improvisation. Yeah, yeah. But if he was to do like if he was to work on a Hans Zimmer score. I'm sure it would be a combination of Hans saying, I want you to improvise, but I also have some things I want you to follow along, like a rhythm chart. Because gotcha. there are rhythm charts that they read, which blows my mind, that an instrument, they just sit down, there it is, and they're playing it. Uh, it I'm, I think the normal time signatures of what, you know, the sharps and the flats, and if it's a 4-4 four, four, or 3-4 four, or 7-8, whatever it is, I think that's universal in terms of what gotcha. you see. But then I don't know because I know there's modality and notes in between Western music of treble bass. This one clefts. was so impressive to me, and I just wish it was longer. I know. Um, that, that was my that's my one gripe with it. It's not it's his fault, obviously. To whoever made this video, cut it. And and anybody who knows that who's a music teacher knows way more than I do. Please help us. I, I would love to know if there is 
if the writing format for Eastern music is different than Western, yeah. we know the modes are different. So, but this one was actually might even be more impressive than the horse running, because like it was, I, I you know, horse running was crazy impressive. Like that was the first thing on face we reacted to, and it was mind boggling. But I think it, that one I would watch more because it's longer. Like, yeah, it's it's longer, and so it's so much more. It's like, and there was multiple times where I had a. I think people said I had a face gasm. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, and, <laughs> and I had multiple of those in this. Let's talk about this. I'm, I'm assuming the the um. The Patri Satishi Kumar. Yeah, what what instrument is that? Because it looked like a a elongated tabla. Because one side he played with his fingers, the other side. Yeah, he played but with he had something palm. on it that reminded me of what you put on a snare. Because a snare drum is like a tom. It's a flat tom, and underneath it, it's got like this uh, cable of I want to say chain. It's just this this thing that when you press the clamps down, it puts it underneath so that it gives you that rattle sound pow, on a snare. You can undo that and it sounds like a tom. He's got something on there that gave it kind of a rattle sound on only one side of the hitting. Yeah. I don't know if it's on it, around it, in it, but let's just talk about he matched everything Yeah. Zakir Hussein was playing. Yeah, that's what was so funny because it's no conversation they had. And that's one of my like I, I think I've said it multiple times. It's one of my favorite things about musicians that it's one of the things I wish I could do is play an instrument because like how musicians talk to each other and they without speaking. Right. And they just look at each other and they say, Okay, that's what we're doing now. Yeah. How do you know that? I don't know, because I'm not a musician. He yeah. knows because you're a musician, so you know what that language is, but I have no idea, but it's just so impressive to me. Like yeah. <laughs> Cause that's what they were doing. They were just like all right, we're gonna we're gonna battle, right? Now. <laughs> yeah, my my, I've talked with that with a friend of mine. You can Google them, Google him. He's, his name's Caleb Quay, and Caleb is one of the greatest guitar players of all time. In fact, Eric Clapton was asked, "Who's the greatest living guitar player alive right now?" And he said unhesitatingly, "Caleb Quay." And I asked that of Caleb. I first of all asked him who his favorite guitar players were, but Caleb is the kind of master on guitar. I can play, and I've been in bands where you know where people are going, and someone will tell you to go somewhere with their instrument, and you can follow them but I don't have soloing mastery in any way, shape or form the way that like a Caleb would. Mm -hmm. And I've watched Caleb play with uh, another legend, Justo Mario, who plays saxophone. And I've watched them play back and forth with each other, Justo on the sax and Caleb on the guitar. And it's, it's a, it is, it's another level of artistry yeah. where you're, you're talking to each other and you're playing around uh, and you're challenging each other. And when someone matches your challenge, you laugh. And then they, they, or they'll do something like they'll go, one person will go, and the other one will apply. Or the next time they'll go, and the well, other one will go. Once yeah, they did. Yeah, they'll go, you know, joking, and it's yeah, so beautiful and, to watch. Yeah, that's what they did in this, and it was so fun to watch because one, Zakir's, you know, not thinking no. at all. No. Uh, but then he also, he's like, I'm going to impress you right now. Here <laughs> Because, you know, when you're at that level of mastery, you know how good you are. Exactly. I'm not saying in real life he's like you're showboating or anything, but not like, at all. he knows he how knows. good he is. Yep. And he should. <laughs> he should. And it's fun to watch when people are like, all right, you want to you wanna see something fun? Exactly. <laughs> well, my beer. He does something amazing. <laughs> Sorry, and I know we've just rambled on for about 15 minutes, but it's, I think that happens with any Zakir video we watch. It's just, it really does. He never ceases to amaze me. He has man, that effect on us. Is... That... And any any Special. other videos that he's in, please send him our way because I will react to every single one until yeah, this, we are out this, of this, them. He is truly in the world of music. Every instrument ever played by anyone for all time, this man is a treasure. Very, very yeah. unique. And it's quite upsetting that we're world. just learning it. It really is amazing. It's really I know, pathetic. I know you haven't. You've it's known him your pathetic. entire life. But we learned about him, what, three months ago? Yeah, it's true. But at least we know who Kylie Minogue was. Who? 